Exactly 110 years ago today, the Wright brothers made their famous first flight. But this year, those in another state challenged that historic accomplishment. It's new at 530. Jordan Burgess live with the story of those who are defending the Wright brothers tonight. For aviation experts, there's nothing up in the air about who was first to flight. They believe the Wright brothers were, but aside from fighting false claims, they think it's important to remember what Orville and Wilbur did all those years ago for other reasons. And the ceremony today honored the 110th anniversary of the Wright brothers' first flight. Now, earlier this year, Connecticut passed a law saying one of its residents, Gustav Whitehead, beat the Wright brothers. Now, when we looked into the case a few months ago, we found little proof of that claim. But those at today's ceremony say it's claims like that which make it so important to set the record straight. They say the Wright brothers still matter today and are why Wright-Patterson Air Force Base is here and why the Miami Valley is still an aerospace hub. They also say it's why the Wright brothers matter to students like Urbana's Brandon White, who won a $1,500 scholarship to pay for flight instruction and who wants to be a pilot one day. See, now every time you know, I think about flying and everything, it's, it's just life for me. And the Wright Brothers just this one amazing story that changed the world that happened here in Dayton, Ohio. Now, President Obama also issued a proclamation declaring today Wright Brothers Day. And, of course, they celebrated in North Carolina where the Wright Brothers made their famous first flight. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News, working for you.